Hello, and welcome to the Grace City Opera Theater YouTube channel. I am Emily May, and I am the program director with Grace City Opera. In this video, we will be honoring the life and career of Dr. Eva Jesse. If you would like to see more videos and performances, please subscribe to our channel and go to our website, www.gracecityoperatheater.org to learn more about our programs. Thank you. Eva Jesse was a pioneer in the world of African-American music and is recognized as the first Black woman to receive international distinction as a choral director. She was born in Coffeyville, Kansas on January 20th, 1895 to Albert and Julia Jesse, but was raised by various relatives after her parents' separation. Influenced by the singing of her great gray grandmother and great aunt, Jesse developed an early love of traditional Negro spirituals. At the age of 13, she attended Western University in Kansas City, Kansas, where she studied poetry and oratory. In addition to singing in Western's concert choir, she gained experience coaching several male and female student choral groups. Jessie graduated in 1914 and then earned a second bachelor's degree and a teaching certificate at Langston University in Oklahoma. She began her career as a music teacher in Oklahoma public schools, working in them for five years. In 1919, she became the head of the music department at Morgan College in Baltimore, Maryland.
In pursuit of more professional opportunities, Jesse moved to New York in 1926 and directed a spirituals, jazz, and light opera choir called the Dixie Jubilee Singers. Under her direction, the group, later named the Eva Jesse Choir, enjoyed a successful career which lasted more than 30 years and included a regular spot on the radio program Major Bow's Family Radio Hour. In 1935, the Eva Jesse Choir auditioned for and was cast as the official choir of the first production of George Gershwin's opera Porgy and Bess. Jesse and her choir toured with the show, earning international acclaim. They were even named the official choral group for the March on Washington in 1963.
Most well known for her prestigious career as a choral director, Jessie helped launch the careers of many black concert artists. However, Jessie's career was not limited to choral direction. In 1927, she published a book of songs called My Spirituals, inspired by the music of her childhood. Her acting credits include such onstage roles as Strawberry Woman in Porgy and Bess and Queenie in Showboat. She was seen in films including Black Like Me, 1964, and Slaves, 1969. After her choir disbanded in the early 1970s, Jessie returned to writing, teaching, and composing at universities.
In addition to honorary doctorates from several major universities, Jesse was awarded a Doctor of Determination Certificate from the University of Michigan's Department of African American Studies in 1976. Kansas Governor Robert Bennett declared October 1st, 1978, Eva Jesse Day, and in 1982, she was named the Kansas Ambassador for the Arts by Governor John Claren. baritone and Bill Dillard trumpet. The Eva Jesse Choir, entertaining the group assembled at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. The Gray City Opera Theater was established in January 2016 as a 501c3 nonprofit organization. The Opera Theater was established to preserve, promote, and perform the works of African American and African descent classical composers and to keep the masterworks of African American and African descent classical composers in the mainstream of classical music. Gray City Opera Theater offers a variety of programs, including our artist program, to provide a venue and opportunities for aspiring artists to perform symphonic works, art songs, oratorio, opera, theater, and composition. This program was established to train, develop, and provide internships and masterclass learning in order to improve and become a well-seasoned artist. Music as a Healer is a program that provides music and education to the school community as well as the senior community as it relates to classical music and its healing qualities. 
Our Opera Roots program opens the opportunity for students who wish to pursue a career in classical music, the change to gain knowledge in vocal performance, which will be a core requirement in their course of study and in identifying their core talent. In addition, the elements of this program will develop character, discipline, and a commitment to achieve their goals. The purpose of the musical arts enrichment programs is to expose children of all ages to classical music and its origins in African culture. Our community program falls in line with the Great City Opera Theater's goal to perform for the community four times per year. These performances will also provide education about opera and allow the audience questions and answer periods. Some operas will be updated to bring the story into today's world. Lastly, our public performance program states the Opera Theater will perform one African American or African descent opera per year. These performances will have a donation process for the audience. The donation amount will be set by the opera company. Performances will take place in a venue that can accommodate staging and theatrical performance. In addition, the company will perform concerts, oratorios, and opera scene concerts as a part of the regular season. It is the goal of Grace City Opera Theater to promote the works of African American and African descent classical composers and performers. To help keep the beautiful masterworks of African American and African descent classical composers alive, we invite you to sponsor a production, an artist, a workshop, or community service project. Your sponsorship will help develop an inspiring artist, composer, or a production and bring the healing magic of music to the community. We are thankful for all of our donors and patrons, and with your contributions, we are able to bring many underrepresented musical works to the community. Whether you give one dollar or a thousand, any contribution helps us in our goal to preserve, promote, and perform the works of African American and African descent classical composers. If you are interested in becoming a sponsor, please visit our website, gracecityoperatheater.org, to learn more information about our programs, our upcoming performances, and how you can sponsor. Going into this spring, we ask that you donate so that we can continue to bring virtual performances, interviews, and master classes to our YouTube channel. We are excited to perform the works of many different composers. We are excited to promote African descent and African American classical composers through our interview series. And we are looking forward to educating artists all over the world with our master class series. These series are possible through your donations and sponsorships, and we are incredibly grateful. These series are possible through your donation. Thank you for joining us this evening. We hope you enjoyed our performance. <laughs>